Okay, we are back. We're just gonna go for it here, honestly. Um, we'll <clears throat> get a few episodes in. Let's see how we're going here. Uh, so we're gonna pop that up and uh, get this show on the road for the most part. Uh, I'm gonna flip back over here. <clears throat> so if anyone has any thoughts, let me know. Um, let me update this title here. I think we are, what are we trying to accomplish right now? I think we're focusing on purple matrix, right? Matrix. Let me update this. All right. Oh, whoops. Matrix. Done. All right. I think this is okay. Ah, oh, it's not gonna let me do it. Interesting. All right, let me switch over here instead and see if I can get something going. Here we go. Okay, it's updated. We are good to go. I think we can do this. Okay. All right. So if anyone had any crazy comments from last time, please let me know. Um, but otherwise, we're ready to uh, hit the road. Let's do this thing. Okay. So last time, if I remember correctly, we had just gotten back here. We are moving all of our yellow cubes yellow matrices uh, we are chugging along on our research and we are getting to the point where we're ready to do some purple information matrix cubes so for these let me pop back here take a look at what it is that we need to, to create to actually make them we need to make this particle broadband uh, that's going to require us to have carbon nanotube crystal silicon and plastic the good news is we already have a ton of plastic. We already have a ton of crystal silicon. Carbon nanotube, not so much. Three graphene to one titanium ingot. So let's just kind of go see how we're doing over here. So we have all this plastic right now. And it looks like, frankly, we don't have a ton of plastic to spare. We're just going straight into these, uh, these little earth cube situations. I'm actually going to cut down on the number of earth cubes or organic crystals I guess that we're storing here uh, and I'm actually going to even tighten this up because I don't I don't think we need all of those and this is going to let us start stacking some plastic here my suspicion is that we may need even more plastic so I'm noticing right now that our issue is coming from the amount of oil refined oil that we're producing here I think we need to to bump this up even a little bit more I mean it looks this feels like a pretty significant amount of oil to me, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. I guess we need to we need to push it even a little bit higher here. So let's see if we can do that. I'm gonna hop back over here, uh, maximize this so I can see how much energy I have. All right, so we're gonna need these guys, which we have. These are loaded in here. We have 10,000 of them, not a problem at all. It's the plastic that's gonna be more of an issue. Um, so I think we're going to do two things. One, we are going to make sure that we're getting more refined oil over here because it is pretty essential. Uh, and two, I think we are going to uh, increase the number of factories that we have actually producing plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this and I'm going to push that junction up a little bit so that we're going past that last one. So let's push this up here, connect that back up. We're going to dismantle that then route that over. So what we're going to do is ensure that we are getting, I'm actually gonna prioritize that lane and attempt to fill up that lane. I think we'll be able to do that. It looks like we have already done that before. Um, oh, but hold up, it's this one that's actually going. Okay, I see. Th I don't think we, we need this, to be honest. I don't think we need this junction at all. The whole So the whole problem that I was running into the reason why it's so kind of crazy like this is because we're trying to get enough energy from here to run through these. Yeah, how much power do we have right now? 
I think we should just not use any of these, frankly. Uh, I can't really tell how much they're actually contributing here at 2.6 watts, roughly 20. All right. I actually think we should shift over here and just add more over here and not worry about it. You know what we were doing? You know what we were doing? I think before we do the purple cubes, I think we work on our, our large scale energy transfer. We use these energy exchangers to fill up these accumulators. Ah, but see, we got to do, we got to do these guys. Well, let's go make these guys. That one is easy. That one we know how to do. And I think we're going to get away from this whole oil issue. We have made some changes here, which I expect we will see the ramifications of uh, if we leave a little bit more. So we're starting to see this pipeline totally fill up. We're sending more oil this direction. Uh, ooh, woof. Okay. That's not, that's not super helpful, but we do know that we're almost totally full of our organic deal here and so hopefully we're not really making any more of these at this point which should allow us to actually bank up some plastic i'm a little bit more concerned about the fact that you know what let's just let's just do it honestly i'm not worried about this we have so many earth crystals organic crystals whatever the heck they are at this point that we should be okay so let's just hop over to our new planet not our new planet but the other planet i should say and we'll let this kind of simmer down for a little bit while we're over there um, do we need to pick up a little bit more graphene before we leave? Yes, yes we do. Uh, we were also making more ships, that's why we were bringing these particle containers, but now that we're not doing that, do we want to bring those with us? We do need those to make more of these, so maybe it's worth bringing those with us. Uh, we also need to make our titanium alloy. So maybe while we're over there, we'll work on this. We will create our super magnetic rings and we will build up some titanium alloy production over there. I'll just remove a few of these bad boys because they're clearly not doing that much. Okay, our generation capacity is still pretty solid, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, let's zoom out. Of course, it's on the entirely other side of the solar system. That's okay. All right, let's borrow a little bit of graphene to go on the trip with us. Okay, we have so much graphene here. Are we exporting this somehow? Where's the graphene that we're exporting? I just want to make sure that... Okay, it's over here. It's just running in from here, if I remember correctly. And that's so how can we hook up these two graphene streams? So what is this? This is stone. Don't care about that. How is this graphene moving upstream? Okay, it's moving up here. Okay, so let's Yeah. I think we should run a line from this graphene back out to over there. I think we can go all the way around. You know what? Let's make it a big, long loop because honestly, I don't really care about spending the uh, time right now. That doesn't bother me. And I don't mind spending the belts right now. I'm more so concerned about making sure that we don't run out of room for the additional factories that we may want to put in. So I think this is just fine. And let's, you know what? What if we, I like this idea. All right, so we are going to reverse how all these belts work. I'm gonna cut that off right there. And then we're gonna let the plastic use all of this available graphite. Then I'm actually going to rerun, reroute this graphite belt the other direction. I think that'll help us make sure that we're using all this graphite. Because there's no, okay, so these, this metal one doesn't use graphite. So we don't need graphite for the organic crystals or for the sulfur, but we do need it for the graphene and the plastic. And a, a smarter person would have potentially understood that prior to placing down all these factories but I have never claimed to be that person. So we are going to go with this strategy, which is rip all the stuff out and uh, do it over. Because that is the Dyson Sphere program way. So we were talking about this, right? Uh, we don't have a sphere. Uh, I've never had, I don't actually even really understand how this works, to be honest with you. We'll maybe get there at some point. The swarm and the shell. I don't, I, I've seen some people do some crazy stuff with this. I don't know. Can I, ooh, ooh, we can make big radiuses, change the inclination, the longitude. We uh, we got all sorts of options there. So 
We'll get there eventually, but not in this solar system. Okay. So we're almost at the end here. Let's, we can actually even just start laying down the new direction. So we're going to go that way. Ah, nice. Okay. Are we, okay. So we're good on research. Ugh, it needs purple. It does not. Okay. So let's start this. This is an exciting one because this one lets us build space warpers. Uh, this is a little tricky because realistically you kind of want to go straight to green cubes. If you look at the conversion rate between, I'll wait until we actually unlock this. Let's just queue it. Can I, can I not queue that? Uh, maybe it's because we haven't gotten this going yet, but Oh, and we're going to need quantum chips. Oh, okay, I see. So we actually can't do green cubes until we have the purple cube set up. All right, well, let's just, I don't know, make this thing or something. I don't know what this is. What else can we make? Uh, nope, that needs green cubes. Okay, so we're going to hit a wall pretty soon here on, on the purple information matrix. But you know what? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so let's take a step back. All right, all this is done. Move that. And then let's bring this up and over. Perfect. Okay. So now all of this graphing is going to feed right into our interstellar logistics system. This feels pretty useless to me at this point. So we're just going to direct this right in. Boom. Don't need any of that. Uh, and we should be okay. Interesting. All right. So this is going to probably going to take a while. Honestly, I bet I have enough graphing stored over here. Um, that we're, we're never going to run out. I mean, this is, this is a, a sizable amount of graphene. I wonder if it's worth burning this graphene. It is not something I considered, but we have a fair amount of it. I wonder how well graphene burns. Let's find out. I'm curious now. Is this even a thing that we can do? Let's pull in some graphene there. I mean, it seems to me that it burns about exactly the same rate as hydrogen. Is that what y'all are seeing? So, okay, well, that's good to know because this is going to block up pretty soon too, as soon as we get all this graphite out. So this may be an awesome alternate power source uh, on our way to deuterium. Okay, let's pop up here. All right, so we know we're going to need that. We have that exporting over here. Um, remote supply, awesome, full interplanetary. This is full interplanetary as well. We're storing our yellow cubes here. Our yellow cubes are going all the way to the other pole. Uh, should we make a few more of these matrices before we leave? I, I think it's worth doing. Um, I know I said we were gonna hit our wall, but we need uh, these four things. I believe we can borrow that glass from somewhere. Oh, you know what, that was all local, all right. So let's hop back over here. We see several of the materials we need right there. And then we can grab glass from this last section right over here and we'll be good to go. It may all be in the planetary logistics station at this point. So I'm just gonna grab, I don't know, what, like 400 of these roughly, give or take. All right, what else do we need? Uh, iron, microchips, and magnets. So let's grab those guys. Oh, stand in our little power circle here. Let's grab four and two and oh, really? Two. Okay. Fifty. Well, that's not too shabby. Oh, I didn't realize the ratios were totally off. Okay. Awesome. Now we need a bunch of the other stuff. We have a little bit of glass. We'll just get rid of that. Cool. Uh, it's going to take us like three minutes to make these, but we have seven, so we can place those down now. Uh, red seems to be okay. We have a huge storage of red. Blue's the same way. It's yellow. That's always been a little bit trickier for us. We have this huge freaking stack at this point, but I just want to make sure too. I don't think we're hitting an, uh, kind of an export or output capacity on these yet. So I'm going to toss a few more of these bad boys up here. So this last layer is where we had some some questions in terms of whether or not we were actually getting enough supplies all the way up to this top layer. So it looks like that's not an issue yet. Because those little guys are going as fast as they can here. 
Let's see. Still, okay, there we go. All right, cool. Well, let's place one more stack here. And we will uh, never have to worry about running out of yellows ever again. These just stack so crazy high. It's just, it's, it's just nuts. All right, yellow. And we're going to use, again, these mighty fast guys right here. And kick back over here. Ah, that was... Who did that? Who did this? That was dumb. There we go. All right. And we can use our MK2s here. Drop this off right there. Awesome. Okay. So now we should be producing a fair freaking amount of yellow science. And we're going to watch that be transported locally uh, to the other pole. Now, one thing that again, would have been nice is if we had built our science production center right at this pole, uh, we would not have to trek uh, across most of the planet. As of right now, we're schlepping this stuff basically all the way across the planet, uh, which is not the absolute most efficient way to do this. Um, the nice thing about this is that we should get, uh, where is it down here? We should get these kind of additional logistics carrier options. Um, carrier capacity. So, oh, yeah, let's definitely queue that up. I'll take it before that thing. Um, so carrier capacity will be nice, uh, but then also these carrier engines will increase flight speed. So this requires drive engine level four. Drive engine. My, oh, okay, right here. Requires mecha core level four. Mecha core level four requires the purple. All right, okay, I see how it is. This is why we can't have nice things. And we're just getting up to the very tippy top one there. Perfect. Okay, so at least what we've done is increase our output of yellow. So that should help. Let's take a, just a quick tour of uh, what that factory looks like before we head out to the great, great blue yonder there. Ooh, it is at least colorful and pretty. I do like that component. Let's hop over here and see how it's going. Okay. So what we are doing... Oh, interesting. So at least we don't have to worry about it not going. You know what? This is our, our limitation right here. So let's plop a few more of these up. And really get this cooking. Oh, uh, you know what? Even, okay. Even these, this belt, these belt speeds are not fast enough, are they? Okay. Yeah, this is, this is going to have to get fixed. All right, so they're all upgraded to MK2s at least, and I'd like to upgrade all of them to MK3s. Who's not making them all the way around? All right, let's see if we have enough to upgrade this one. Okay, how many more? 29? Oh, so fast, and yet not fast enough. What do we need to make these? Oh, okay, well, figures, right? Okay, well, we'll know we can come back. The good point is yellow is not a huge holdup right now, and we're seeing some return on all these. So I think what we should do is just stack these up as high as we can. And then we'll come back and we'll see which ones are not uh, building high enough. Or uh, rather, sorry, which one of these we're running out of. And then we can come back and increase belt speed here. Because I think that's going to be, frankly, just the best way to actually figure out this issue. And we can actually build higher than this. But at least for a start... Let's just go up to here. All right, so let's see. All right, yeah, so now we're seeing what I expected to see is that we're, we're plucking these off of the belt faster than we can we can produce them again. So the stack might be running into some issues here. Okay, the good news is though, yellow is populating faster than it can decrease. Well, uh, of course I say that. We'll see how this actually goes. Uh, do we want to put maybe, let's put a few more of these drones in there. How many can we fit in there, 50? All right, I feel good about that. We'll get them as many drones as they need uh, so we don't have to worry about running out. Okay, I think it's time to head off towards our other planet. Looking for Alchiba 1. Where are we at? Alchiba 1. Where are you at? Oh, cool. To uh, that's not awful, I guess I should say. I shouldn't get all whiny about that. Just a short jaunt. Whoops, looking behind me. There we go. Alchiba 1. Let's do this. So we were talking earlier about uh, controls in space. And again, uh, I think this is something that can be a little bit confusing for people. Uh, really, honestly, my main strategy is point where I want to go, hit W 
to catch up there. Oh, you can also hit tab here to get your uh, controller back. Ooh, that is going to be really nice. I don't know why we waited so long to do that one, but that one is going to be really nice. You point wherever you want, hit W to go that direction. You can see we can kind of just wing around here. Uh, we want to point straight for the planet. Uh, if you do this, you don't have to waste time by decelerating. You just automatically decelerate. Uh, apparently, the laws of physics, as far as momentum goes, are not really applicable in this game, uh, which honestly I prefer. Uh, that would that would hurt. Um, but it doesn't really matter how fast you're going if you can aim right for the planet's surface. I think where people get into trouble is they're not aiming directly for the planet's surface, and that can cause some legitimate issues. Uh, so try to avoid that if you can. Okay, so we have some decisions to make. We're pulling in graphene here. We have as much graphene as we need. This is good. We're going to make these super magnetic rings. So right now, this has both... Wait, okay. Ah, I see we don't have these yet. Let's just clear this for now. Uh, it's going to be there anyways. All right. I don't know if everything would shift up or what. All right. So we have the turbines. We have the graphite. And the only thing we need to pull in are the uh, rings, right? The magnet rings. So what I think we could potentially do is come over here to where our magnet rings are. Oh, this is the most inconvenient place for a factory, is it not? We'd have to fill up a bunch of this. You know what? Let's think carefully about if we want our magnet rings to be here. I know that I said I don't set down factories if we're not going to build anything off planet. But if we were to run our magnet rings out over here, we would have way more space. I like that idea better. Can we just basically build over this thing? I think we maybe want to do that. So. Let's go up here so we can kind of build out of this. We're going to be up there, and then we are just going to waltz our way across here. Um, so let's go one more over. Oh my god, nothing is ever this easy. All right, let's do that. We want to get aligned with this belt. So let's. Nope. Okay. We don't. No, we don't want to. We don't. Okay. Okay. This is looking better. Okay. Okay. All right. This is what we want to be doing. So let's get out here and then we want to build across. But we don't really. Mm, I think we could go across here. These may be some famous last words, but the thing is, we also want to start working our way back that way. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just go. Let's go across here and get right to this this space right here. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of red back there. Okay, so we'll keep going up here. Actually, this is, works out really well because then we can go directly above that. All right, so we're going to build right along this line here. And then we would like to get out. Um... Let's shift this whole line over. I'm going to pull all this out. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to shift this up just a little bit because I'd like to have two lines here going out. And these two lines are going to carry the two. Uh, oh, wait, nope. This is the wrong one. This is absolutely the wrong one. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna struggle city this, aren't we? You know what? This was this was a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake. Maybe I should just break my rule and build a planetary station. We can import these guys and all three of them, and we'll just dra uh, no. See, this is still conceptually a good idea. The problem is we tried to accommodate space that we shouldn't have. So let's get out of here. Do we want to build over here? This is where it makes the most sense to build. I think we scrap this idea, we bring it over here. Core and didn't I just did I not just look at the graphite here? What what's going on? Can we can we use this? Nope. That doesn't count as fuel. Okay. Uh do we have any extra graphite over near uh, our fuel? Oops, 
Okay. This looks a little bit promising. Oh, we are. Oh, okay. Ah, perfect. We finally achieved. Uh, we achieved energy and it's not energy independence per se, but it's um. Oh my good lord, what is happening? All right, we're still just moving to. Oh, it's the drones. It's the drones. They take uh, more energy than you might think. Look at this. Yeah, the drones are pulling power. I see that we had a comment in the chat room asking why one is not getting a giant robot. Uh, this. Oh, hey, this is a fun little detail. This must be the low power indicator. Um, anyone can have a giant robot if you uh, play this game in early access. It's, uh, I think, $20 right now. So uh, for $20, you do get a giant robot. Uh, and as I said, I would highly encourage it. This is a really, really well-polished game. I haven't run into any bugs, which is more than one could say for other certain AAA futuristic uh, games that have come out this year. Not throwing any shade at any certain game in particular. Um, but I will say that this game does not play like an early access game. Honestly, the only evidence I've seen of it being early access is this coming soon technology chain, this accelerant. No idea what this is. Um, but we'll find out eventually, it sounds like. All right, so let's go fix this mess that we were working on down here. This, oh my god, this looks terrible. How did you let me do this? This is awful. Let's remove everything about this. Okay, that never happened. I'm glad that we could put that behind us. So what I do think that we want to do is run maybe along the back. Eh, I don't love that either. Okay, what is going on here? Why do we have so much production? This doesn't make any sense to me. All right, let's delete that and that. And we will move this over here and then put a one there too okay so now we can run a line along the back i'm going to remove that did anything immediately break yep it did okay let's put that back and we are going to basically run a line and and build a big factory right out here uh a few reasons for that one i think it just makes sense but two we can run our product directly into the correct logistics station so that's always a plus um, so I'm going to start right here, and we're just going to run the line all the way down. So we'll know that this is our output line right here, uh, and this is where we're aiming to go. Let's even just throw a few, few of these bad boys. Oh, man. I should have brought some, some graphing. Okay, well, that's frustrating. Uh, we'll use these for now, and then we will actually make a few of these back on our home planet here. Uh, I'll bring some microchips back with me. We have plenty of microchips. It's just like, aren't we importing the graphics? Am I crazy? I, we are exporting it from that planet. So if we were to pull down, you know what? Here, let's do this. We want graphene. We set it down to like 400. Remote demand. We'll get some. And then we can make these ourselves. Uh, we also have to make these, which are very easy to do. So let's actually start making some more of those guys while we wait. We need some iron and we need some microchips where are the microchips I think they are over here uh, oh no we did have a box of them cool okay so we're going to start making some of these with the knowledge that we are going to upgrade them don't we have gears I, I should just go get some out of the gearbox this is dumb because I'm spending a lot of my time and energy making gears. Actually, let's cancel all these because we're about to pick up some gears, so we don't need it. All right, this will be way faster. So big difference, you notice. Um, if you have to make it yourself, all of a sudden, it takes a fair amount more time because you are making more parts. So let's, all right. We don't want to have to make any of these parts ourselves. So we're pulling them from our workshop doing it that way nope too much okay so let's put the gear back let's go over here uh that wasn't the one we pulled it out of oh my god i'm never going to be able to find out uh you know what we have so many of these i like i feel badly for you know we'll, we'll hold on 
Well, hold on. You never know we might need them. Okay. Rings. We want to come over here. Let's just set a few of these down so we have a sense of what we're doing. Okay. So, things to think about. We need to pull these out and we need to pull graphene out. Let's take all of this out. Set that down. I would have thought that would have uh, actually been a lot more, but I guess it's not. All right. Um, so, actually, let's uh, redo all this because we need to pull two things out and put one thing back in. So let's think about how we want to do this. I actually think we're going to want, and let's check the ratios here. Um, okay, three, two, one. So we want, okay, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is actually like helpful min-maxing or not. I, I don't think it's actually worth doing a lot of this, to be honest with you. Like, I, I know theoretically you're supposed to keep keep this stuff closer, uh, you know, because it takes a little bit longer to pull things out that are further away. But truth be told, I've never noticed a significant difference. So if it exists, and I'm, I'm not doubting that it does, but if it exists, uh, it has not impacted my gameplay uh, yet. Or at least it's it's not been the, uh, the deal. Really? Oh, man, what is the deal? I, it's when you build right on... That's, that's not good. The, okay, you know what? You want a legitimate gripe? This is a legitimate gripe. That I, I'm trying to... Really? Any of these? So only one out of the three sides is usable? Because that feels like a bum rat. On that side, it's just fine. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to move all of this over one, because this is good use of my time. Uh, well, I don't know why it's that flavored, but let's cut this right there. Cut that right there. Cut that right there. And we're going to upgrade all of this because some Nimrod made it MK1. Connect this up here. And then we are going to actually run this over the side. Uh, we're just not going to do it quite yet because we're not done with all that stuff yet. All right, so we're going to run this out across the side and run into that side because what I want to do is run our product, our actual, uh, it's not showing up on here because we're still importing this. Let's do that and then clear and reset. Okay, so that's not going to be these guys. The good news is we have our product uh, if we need to make more of these guys, which we can. Cool. Okay. So we're going to put our MK2s up here, and then our export is going to be through the first side of that thing. Okay. So let's just start throwing a few of these B-boys down. And we're going to have to back up a titch, actually, because we want to bring our magnetic ring things through here. Do we just go over all of this? It's very spaghetti. Maybe we go around the back. I think that makes more sense. Okay. I like this better already. All right. So step back two from this. We want to build this out. We go up a level. Build that up. And then we're actually going to cut this back. Now we have our little half level. We can go straight down like that. You're only one, one little titch over here. And we can zoom in right here. And we have our nice o-ring line all ready to go okay let our little guys go to work i think we're in a pretty good spot okay so now oh my god there's so many rocks on any of these lava planets it's just it can be a real pain to do any sort of manual walking at all pull these over and let's just load them up move them out so I know I said I don't do this, but uh, sometimes for new things, I like to build just a couple to make sure that everything's working smoothly. So we'll just build like three of these uh, and then put in the, the output here. These go pretty slowly, I think. So I'm actually going to intentionally use some MK1 here simply because it's cheaper. 
uh, and we're not going to experience the cost of it. We may want to actually end up upgrading it further down the line because there will be so many pieces on the line that it's going to start clogging up. Um, but we will let that problem happen when it happens. So we're going to go down here. Uh, little drones take this. And uh, yeah, uh, because I severed that link, they're not going to go. They're not going to go in there, are they? All right, well, let's do that. We'll pull the rest of these guys out. Can I put them in here? Nope. Can I put them in here? Nope. Can I put them literally anywhere? Nope. We're, we're, we just got them now. These are ours now. At least it's not more than a stack. All right. Dismantle that. And then we're going to bring this in right over here. Because apparently this is the only one we can enter. Okay. Let's hop back over here. Lay our power lines. Let's see. That looks like about where the circle ends. All right, we're just going to do, again, super, super minimal. Uh, and we'll grab stuff off the line right here. Uh, why is this not coming out? Ah, it's because I have not set it up to actually exit yet. So let's do that. We'll just use the one because... Uh, nope, let's just do two right now. It's easier. That way we'll know we'll have the right stream. Ah, uh, what's going on over here? That doesn't make any sense. Let's cut all that out. Cut that one off. Let's pop two out. That seems to me to be the fastest sort of type you can use. This is also only an MK2, so it's not even really going that fast. Um, but this should completely populate. Perfect. Okay. So, pulling in here, here, and here. And so, therefore, we can delete all those guys. And I actually do all of my inputs in one go and then all my outputs in one go. I think it's just a little bit easier. You're not switching back and forth uh, your perspective. And these guys can store a fair amount before they actually have to start outputting anything. So there we go. All right. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like, well, wow, I guess they had a little bit stored up. We'll see how this goes. Okay. The good news is they seem to be uh, having everything they need to actually start producing. Why is it that we can get them so much closer together? Maybe this is what they always look like. I'm just going crazy. All right. We are going to have plenty of these. And this is what I said about, like, I don't I don't really min-max this game, um, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to build a ton of them. If I find out I'm running out of the other stuff, then I'll fix it. Uh, but to be honest, this is already so much better than the last time I did this that uh, I think that we're already doing a lot better here. Uh, one other trick too, sometimes I'll intentionally build stuff without electricity, uh, just because I don't want it to actually start turning on yet, uh, especially if I haven't figured out where the output is. Um, I found that that can be a little bit helpful. But the other thing is you really want to stick around and make sure that everything's actually working properly before you jet off. Uh, those of you who are with me in the morning session watched me find out that one of the key components of our processors uh, just didn't have one of the assemblers working properly because I never put in intake for one of the input resources. So you want to avoid that happening whenever possible. We'll also know, uh, watch this uh, if you can. You can do this. You'll notice this is a bridge. This is an input. The mouse distance is not vast between these two things. And if you bridge instead of inputting, you will take stuff from this track and put it on this track. It gums up the works entirely. Uh, I, I haven't done that as much this playthrough. I think they may have made it a little bit more sensitive. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that as much, but that is a legitimate issue you can run into. Uh, so if you're noticing that something isn't working as intended or um, you're seeing things in places that it, they ought not to be, that might be something that you're running into. So take a quick look for that and make sure it's not the problem. Okay. So we have all of our power going. Uh, even with all of that, the consumption isn't at an unrealistic level. So we're doing okay there. And we are seeing our blue engines. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, the other good thing we're seeing is our graphite production we don't have to worry about that at all. I'm actually going to turn this down even a little bit more, maybe to 800, and see how this goes. It looks like it can take less than a round trip for it to actually get out here, uh, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Or Sorry, less than two round trips to get out here. So right now it looks like there's 400 in transit. You'll notice this is a fully stocked interstellar logistics station, so we should be good to go. And we are pulling these in like nobody's business. So the good news about that is that means we can make some more of these. Um, and, oh, we cleverly have that graphene from the last time we were in here. So that makes life a lot easier. Let's make some more of these belts. 
Uh, one thing I would like to do is automate these. So we may put another, how do we make um, these guys? Okay, so we have these things. In fact, we have them right over here. We might want to automate belt creation up here because I didn't do that in my last game and that ended up being a huge pain in the ass. So maybe we should take a quick detour. Actually, you know what? We're making these. Let us, how's our science doing? I think we are, we're blocked on science, right? Yeah, we're blocked by the purple cubes. Okay, what do the purple cubes need again? Oh, they need this thing. Oh, that whole debacle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Need this, it's a lot of graphene. All right, I, I think we hold off on purple just a little bit longer. I, I know we should be doing it, but I think this this honestly, I feel like this could be productive. What's What the heck is going on here? Let's dismantle those. And actually we're gonna take off this last bit too. There we go, that's what I like to see. Where are these going? These are going over there. Okay, cool. What does the production here look like? We may need to increase this. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm gonna upgrade all these because we know we're going to take from them. In a perfect world, we should probably actually go through and upgrade basically everywhere we have these. Um, but I think we might wanna do a whole episode on, on upgrading, honestly, because uh, this can be pretty tricky. What do we not have? Oh, let's go just get some of those. How many do we need? Like, I don't know, it feels good. Three. Oh, yeah, whoops. Well, actually, here, let's just import some graphene right here. Uh, what, thousand sound good? That is helpful. I totally forgot that we had this over here. Um, do we need to put any ships in it? We do. Boom. All right, it's fully staffed. Cool, and we're just gonna get a, a, a ton of uh, graphene here. Okay, so let's wait just a second here. We're gonna be able to grab the graphene out here, then we can make the rest of these assembly machines as we go over and, and start working on our, our line automation for these conveyor belts. I do really love the sense of scale in this game. We'll be able to see, where is Alchiba 3? I don't know where it is. Or Alchiba 4, that's our home planet. Ooh, there's a logistics vessel. Looks like it's landing for someone, not for us. It's going over there. But like, I mean, how cool is that? It looks awesome. The attention to detail with these models too, the fact that they're all on the top right here, it's really neat. It's really neat. It feels like this game has definitely, definitely gotten some love here. We can actually track how close they are. If we zoom out here, you can see that's, f okay. So these ones coming back, I bet are carrying our graphene. Let's see if we can, we can watch them come in. Ah, there we go. Graphene. Here they come. Is there a beloved home planet, Alchiba 4? Oh, that is neat. The scope of this game is just absolutely phenomenal if you enjoy that. There we go. And we have our graphene. Bing, bang, boom. All right. We're going to make some more of these guys. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, nope. No gears for me, please. Don't want to make those myself. Okay, um, we debated running microchips in here, right? Uh, I, you know what? I, I don't think it's worth it. <sighs> what else do microchips go into? Ugh, they go into a lot of stuff, don't they? You know what? We have microchips back on the home planet. Let's not worry about it. Particle broadband is much more uh, of a problem. And we'll just we'll just leave this graph right here. Honestly, maybe we'll need it. Graphene, whatever the heck it's called. I know we were talking about, oh, titanium alloy. That's the other thing that we wanted to produce over here. Let's, okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's make the belt automation. And while we're doing that, then we can work on the graphene. Um, so something I'm going to do is actually bend this around. Um, Cause that way we can use this side. There we go, for export. So we're gonna probably pull this back up here and we're gonna make a bunch of belt lines. So what do we need, just to be clear? That's just the metal that we're going to need. We'll probably pull down a local logistics station. Yep, yep, let's do a local logistics station. 
uh, and get that all set up. Okay, so we're starting to get close to the pole, which means we want to be really careful about this. Um, okay, let's buy ourselves a little bit of room here. Boop. Okay. Let's lay these lines out first before we do anything too crazy. So we want to get from here down here. We'll lay out this is going to be the first line. And we'll bring maybe bring some steel over too. We'll do the same deal here. We're just going to split them. So we're going to use this line instead now. And that's going to drop out our steel. And then we're going to pull that. And let's do... I, I don't love doing this. In a perfect world, I like it when both of these lines go the same direction. Uh, I think it just gives you a little bit more control. But that's not where we're at in life, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so we're going to go down there. We could inch that up a little bit more if we end up totally running out of space. Mm. You know what? No, let's just do it right now. It's going to be easier. I know it's only getting cinched up a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Because any extra space is good. Alright, we'll have a bunch of extra iron. And, you know, that always comes in handy. Okay, this is going to go down there. Boom. Awesome. Okay, so... Why is this not... Oh, you know what? That's because they're intake. You can fix that pretty easily. Output, please. There we go. That still feels slow to me. What? This is MK2, right? Okay, there we go. Just took a second. Alrighty. Um, and then let's make sure specifically when we're placing it on the edge, it will have access to both of those things. Cool. One, two, three. Alright, this is going to be plenty. I'm honestly not really worried about this at all. Um, I know, like, conceptually, I could see this being an issue, but the thing is, <clears throat> belts aren't a consumable the same way that other things can be. Uh, so I'm really not not as concerned about this um, as I would be if this were something else uh, that was being consumed. So I'm actually going to just swoop this back around. And then we know that we're going to have something coming out here that also needs to run in here. So let's do, we'll just set all this down right now so that we can do our planning ahead of time. So one trick I could see us running into would be power supplies. Do we have? No, I should just know better. Okay. How are we going to get power in here? I think actually that we, yeah, make this turn a little bit wider. And we put power in right along here. All right. It's a little bit annoying. It loses a little bit of space, but it's not, not too bad. All right, so for our second round, that's going to be those little engine guys from over there. And I think we're set on local supply. Oh, ah, that's the wrong one. I meant this one. It's got to be local supply, right? Yeah, local supply. Okay, so we'll be able to pull those in, no problem. Um, and this is going to make this. And we can actually, let's get this started now so that we start building up a supply. Um, and something you notice I'm doing, I'm not even going to bother creating an output for these. I, I Frankly, I just I have no interest in using these anymore now that I have faster belts. So all of these can be leveraged as inputs. I, I have no interest in pulling them out. The MK2s, I do. Uh, so I will create an offshoot for those um, so that I can, I can get those out if I want to use them. So MK2s and MK3s are what I like to use. Um, and so we'll send those into probably local logistics. We may actually end up needing more than just a local logistics here. Okay, so 
we got input for everyone. Let's just do output for everyone. on the light posts. There we go. All right. We get spot there. So let's think this through. So we're going to need to pull in at least these electromagnetic turbines for this. And we're going to need to pull in three different materials for this. Or sorry, two different materials for this. That's three things. We also want to be able to export two types of conveyor belt. I think we just go straight planetary on this. Um, it, again, yeah, it can be a little bit of a pain. But uh, I think it's it's the right call here. Let's put this up here. Actually, we can get a little bit closer. There we go. Um, just got to get it charging. So let's pull off of this corner. There we go. It's going to hit the power a little hard. Oh, whoa. How did our consumption demand? Okay, that must be with that station charging up. Um, all right. Fully stock it there. Uh, we'll take out 25 of these guys. I'm sure I'm like way overstocking this. And we'll take, again, let's keep it small. Let's keep it tight. We need 1,200 local demand. So those little guys will go out and grab those. Uh, what's the other thing we needed over here? We need, okay, so let's make this our graphene station. What else did we need? Uh, we, oh, we also need these guys. Same deal. 1200 oh, come on local demand and then what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go over here I'm going to turn off that we change that to remote supply local supply and we are going to grab that graphene um, from our local supply first let's pull all the graphene out of here and then we'll set it to remote demand on this system instead will totally purge the graphene out of this interstellar system. So I'll have more flexibility over there with what's going in and what's going out. So I'm gonna wait just a second for all the graphene to get out of there. And let's hook up these lines. Um, okay, coming out of the top. Well, let's, okay, so all these lines work. <laughs> that was my main concern. Uh, all right, yep, that's what we need coming out of here. Oh my, okay. And we're going to go over there. Perfect. Okay. And so, let's get our little maker guys here. All right. Is this power thing going to be an issue? Like, just be honest here. Is this going to be an issue? This is probably where we're supposed to set up our power. I keep saying that we're going to do it, and then I just don't do it. That's, I mean, that's probably my fault at this point, isn't it? Uh, oh, we needed to make these guys. I see. We did do that. So now we can make... We have some of these already. We just need more of these bars. We might just we might just just deal with it and, and make these ourselves by hand. Uh, but I don't really want to if I can avoid it. All right, that looks fine to me. One, two. Yeah. So you can see we're already not able to fit in nearly as many. Um, whoops, especially if I misspace them like that. There we go. Uh, we're making these guys. Lovely. Uh, and specifically, what I would like to do. Okay, first of all, let's just, we'll just do this. We gotta throw in a few more windmills here. Our, yeah, we're, we're having some issues. All right. Just add to our windmill planes, wind turbines, whatever. I mean, they they look like windmills to me. I don't, I don't think. I mean, this actually obviously doesn't look anything like a like a Dutch windmill type situation. We're not uh, grinding flour here or anything, but uh, we are attempting to harness the power of wind. Have I talked about how wind is terrible on this planet? Well, look at how many solar panels I brought with me. So, wind it is until I figure out that I should bring other stuff to the planet. There we go. I, I haven't mass produced solar panels either. I, I built a bunch of them for our um, solar surface. There we go. That was a pretty notable improvement. All right, so it must not be drawing power off the main grid anymore. It's fully powered up. 
that's the problem with the a lot of those logistics stations they really throw your power um, requirements off it can get a little bit tricky uh, if you're not aware of, of how much power you should actually be drawing the other thing we could do is we have enough graphing here so I don't what's the problem with all these why are these not pulling maybe it's the belt level let's just let's just upgrade this belt we're gonna upgrade that level upgrade all these there we go that's got to help right uh it looks like this did not upgrade no it did huh Can I, is that is that blue I can't mk3 I assume. Ooh, hey, this is new. Input priority and output priority. No, that's not new. Never mind. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. All right, so it looks as speedy as possible. Still, I don't really know. Something looks weird here, but maybe it's just because it's a splitter. Who knows? All right. Good news is it's all going faster. We're starting to get power to almost everybody. I don't think it would help us by putting anything else down here. Let's just do it up to the turn. I don't. We'll we'll test it just to be sure, but I don't. I don't think that arm's going to do anything. Oh no! Oh, I see. It just made this arm useless, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter. Okay. I don't know why it looks like it just goes so much faster. Maybe here. Let's try. I don't know if this actually matters. What if we do that? Hmm. Oh, something weird still feels like it's going on here. I don't know. We'll let it go for a little bit. How much power do we have? All right, we're doing okay. Let's hop back over here. Let's see how we're doing over here. All right, well, nobody's grabbing anything, so it's not a great look. All right, and then we want this to be going back toward our... Uh, interstellar logistics system here. It's just going to go right in there. So we have our MK2 belts. Our MK3 belts. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay. Let's get grabby. Get these little grabby guys on here. Now we can start making some stuff. All right, so I think after this we have to do our do our titanium alloy, uh, and then and then we need to figure out our power situation once and for all. Uh, I like the power import idea a lot. Uh, I think it's something that's definitely worth bringing bringing into the the resources that we have so far. All right, we're gonna output right on here. I think this will be really nice to have, honestly. Um, it might feel a little excessive right now, and it may be a little excessive, um, but we'll never have to worry about making belts again, and honestly, that, that sounds great to me. It sounds really, really great to me. Okay, so, now we're going for three. We need three different things out of here, so let's think about this. The nice thing is that we can totally detach it from here because we have three things going in and one thing coming out. We could totally build along the side if we wanted to. We don't have to, um, but we have a little bit more space to work with here. So let's think about that. Um, do we need to consider... All right, 311. So we want the closest one to be the belts themselves. Okay. I think we honestly just keep going out here because this clearly worked once and we think it can work again then this doesn't matter because these are equal. Uh, we need this. Nope, thank you. There we go. And these will go out there. Okay. So now, let's get our machines. And we knew they were gonna run into power problems. That's okay. Because we can put the power on this side of them. We don't have to worry about it. All right, so let's run our output line, and we're actually gonna run this down a little bit here, right in there, perfect. 
then we'll put in our power. Power. Uh, I sometimes just play it a little bit safe with the power. I mean, these are so easy to make that it's just... It's worth it, you know? Okay. We are making MK3 belts. Boom. Oh, somebody running out of graphite. Classic. Classic. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's take a quick intermission. And where are we pulling down graphite? I think it's over here. All right. So let's actually kick this up back up to, I think, 2,000, frankly. Because then we don't feel badly about coming over here and stealing some of it. Boom. I'll actually go ahead and put that back in because I don't want to run out of it. Uh, 2,000 feels excessive. Maybe 1,500. There we go. All right. Good news is we are back in business on the power front. So we can just set right back down here. And we know the drill at this point. Uh, ooh, we're going to have to pull out one more. Let's actually start at the other end to get a sense of what we want our patterns to look like. All right. That side. I guess it actually doesn't matter here, which is nice. Oh, there we go. Zoom in a little bit. Makes it a little bit easier. Helps if you're lined up, too. Ah, okay. uh, I was afraid of that. All right, good news is that we have space on that side for maneuvering if we need to. Let's just throw. Let's do it right now, so don't forget. Boom. I think it's right where you see those little extra spots there. That's going to be where we have problems. All right, pull that out. And you just want to be extra careful when you're doing this that you're going into the actual thing. You want to be using an input, not a bridge. When you have to do this many and you go this fast, you can make mistakes. Okay, so we want to go one more. All right, and then we can even pull off this extra little bit right at the end. Boom. Okay. So now, just get our output arms going, and we are off to the races. Oh, beautiful. All right, got a little bit extra conveyor belt there. Awesome. How's this look? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so how are our ratios looking? They're looking pretty good. Our local demand, I'm actually going to kick them down even further. It looks like we're not pulling in fast enough for this to be a problem. Let's kick this down to 600. Oh, we're going to have to turn on our remote demand too. I'm pretty sure. Have we pulled all of the... It wasn't that one. It was this one. Yeah, okay, perfect. To clear reset that we're going to want to shift this to remote demand local supply okay you'll notice that it won't go out and pull a remote, uh, remote demand until the storage is below the max um so that can be a little bit of a pain if you're not ready for it but now you know so you won't have to worry about it okay let's think about next steps for a second we want to deal with the energy crisis uh, we also want to build our purple matrix. The blocker for the purple matrix is this particle broadband. This is being blocked by the fact that we don't have carbon nanotubes, which we could make, we could specifically make on this planet if we wanted to. I don't think that's worth it. Ugh, but the trick is, I mean, if we were to just import plastic here, uh, it's actually probably more effective for us to build crystal silicon here, uh, given our silicon uh, resources and our carbon nanotubes here, given our titanium resources. So I think it might make more sense to make this here. The problem is that this is one of the core inputs for the information matrix, and I really like having the core inputs on the planet itself. Um, you can just run into some annoying issues there. Uh, but you know what? I think we're doing okay. Everything uh, has this uh, decreasing a little bit over time. This could be problematic. Um, 
Why are these unhappy? Product stacking. Why is that? Okay. Let's put in a second intake. All right. That'll fix the product stacking, which means that we probably weren't using our full capacity here. What are we getting over here? Is this lack of material? Every now and then I get this. I'm not really sure what this means, honestly. Uh, there's no good reason that it's having an issue pulling the product in. So, you know, I, I see it sometimes. I, I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. I don't know if it's worth upgrading the specific arms that are pulling in metal. Okay, well, I don't see it happening anymore, so that seems like a plus. Who else is complaining at me? That one? Oh, they all are. That's great. Cool. Love spending all this MK3 sorter on this baloney. What are you upset about? Product stacking, just in general? Oh, that's to be expected. Okay, you know what? We probably just don't need that many of these because we aren't we aren't outputting them. I mean, we don't have space to output them here anyways. They're literally just going to be like destroyed. I, do we just shut a few of these down? Who's getting product stacking? Oh, like most of them. All right. Maybe we pull, let's pull three of them and see how that goes. Because I don't want to pull too many, um, but I also, I'm happy to take back the machines if we, if we can. So let's just kind of take a gander at this. These guys are doing like a material too. All right. Okay. So clearly, clearly we actually do need to upgrade these arms, the far arms. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I might run out of these pretty soon, actually. How many do we have left? Oh, 46. Never mind. We probably need to make some more, though. There we go. So at least we won't see that warning anymore. And these aren't going to stack because they're going straight into a... Uh, like a what are you telling me? Ah, oh, jeez, Louise. Now that we upgraded the arms, we can put more of the machines back. All right. Well, this is awesome. Now that we have... There we go. All right, and we know we're just going to use these for the inputs. Switch over to these for our iron plates or step. What what are these? What are these called? Iron ingots. Okay. All right. So hopefully we're not running out of these anymore. Uh, we may want to increase this belt speed too. That's yeah. That's my guess. Let's do that. It's going to help. There we go. Yep. That's what I want. Complete. Stack disaster. Okay. So, you know, ironically, having done that, we could probably get rid of at least one of these now because they're not doing anything. Let's, we'll do it slowly. How does that sound? This is still giving us product stacking. Uh, product stacking on this side now. All right. Let's upgrade that. There we go. Why are these guys unhappy? Oh, why are these unhappy? Lack of material. All right. We're just going to do the same thing with all of these, huh? What are they saying? Well, oh, hold up. Which is the lack of material? It's the belts. Okay. So it is It is the stuff on the far. Ah, lordy. It's not what I wanted to do. Doesn't really matter that much, I guess, if that one specific one is a little bit faster. All right. So moral of the story is maybe just use MK3s for any um, three kind of third belt, the farthest belt stuff. You just want to use the MK3s, specifically also with the MK2 assemblers. I think that's I think that's the issue here. Okay, cool. We're running thinner margins here, but our margins still look really good. I'm just saying that. Uh, we could probably turn this down even lower if we need to, but you know what? I, I bet we have so many over there that it's probably not an issue. Yeah, like we're we're doing just fine over here, so I don't think we have to worry about it too much. All right, we are pulling in that extra carbon just because why not? How are we doing on carbon or uh, graphite? Let's grab a little bit out of here. You never know. Okay. So the final question is, do we want to have a local graphite connection over here? Because this power situation is no bueno. What we could do Uh, it, it's like very expensive and, and probably overkill, but I think we should do it, honestly. Um, we are going to cut this off right there. And we're going to let this box run all the way out. 
then we are going to run this into an interplanetary station and then run all three lines out here because this is clearly just not working the way I originally designed it to. So we're just going to let this run down the clock here. You know what? We probably have enough space to hold all that. Okay. All right. So let's put in this guy right here. That's going to line up with everything we want. Okay. We're going to run this line right in so we don't have to worry about it. I don't know why on earth it would think that was a better idea. We're literally just going to run graphite into this. We may need some other stuff too, so I don't think it's a total waste. And then we have this coming out right there. And that's going to be graphite. There we go. Middle one, also graphite. And the third one may shock you. It's also graphite. Okay, and it is demand. We are demanding it. So this should actually get us, hopefully, the look we were going for here, and we may be able to expand on those. So I think that we're also going to have to increase our graphite request over here. So let's do that. Yeah, see, now we're out. Let's just, it's kick it up to something like absurd. Let's kick it up to 3,000. We got plenty of it on the home planet. I'm not worried about it. Because now we're completely out. So that's not great. Uh, also, we didn't put any drones in that guy. I don't think that it matters. It feels like there are enough drones on this planet that they're all figuring it out. So I'm not going to stress about it yet. And that looks delightfully full of graphite. So that's what we want to see. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hopefully, what's our power situation look like? Okay, not too bad. We could even try to add in a fourth layer back here at these stations. Uh, or not, because we don't have any. All right, well, this looks totally satisfactory to me then. Okay, next step, accumulators. Let's build them. Um, oh, actually here, let's put our, the rest of our graphite back. No, that's, that's what I meant to do, okay. We'll keep maybe like four stacks for ourselves. Here we go. Cool. I don't know what that was. There we go. Okay. So let's do this. We want to do these energy receive. Ah, all right. It's the titanium alloy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You know what? Actually, that might be a good opportunity for us to build our titanium steel and sulfuric acid. How are we doing our titanium currently? Let's go check it out. The titanium is further south. Okay, so let's, this is a local. All right, let's pull in some sulfuric acid and some steel. Uh, no, we can't do that because we're gonna be sending the alloy out. So let's do that and let's see how crazy we can get with some of this stuff. Is there, okay, there's iron right here. Uh, but we have an excess amount of steel over here. Are we actually putting any of these raw ingredients into planetary stations? We're not right now. Should we be? I don't, I mean, I don't really think so, unless we wanted to use a planetary logistics system here. But for the most part, again, we're not really doing that. So I try not to do that too much. Okay, we're basically running out of steel there, which is fine. Ooh, no, not fine. Um, let's... Why is this running that way right now? I don't think that makes any sense. Let's run this the other way. these guys because we mean business Put one more up here okay other thing we can do is right now looks like this is routing into that not the end of the world for sure let's just keep an eye on this what does that run to that runs over there all right well so one of the stories maybe let's just 
Let's just build our own steel plant over here. It's going to be easier. Alright, so we need steel, titanium, sulfur. Okay. Uh, do we have an interplanetary that's requesting sulfur right now? That's something that we're going to need. You are full up. How about you? You are full up. How about you? You are not. All right, let's pull on our sulfur request there. 1500 feels reasonable. That might just be kind of my catch all. Honestly, at this point, we're just trying to get it onto onto the uh, the planet body itself, you know? So. All right. It's full screen here. Where the heck am I going? There we go. Okay. So we got a lot going on here. More stories, it's routing in there. This is not a great, not a great design, is it? It's not, not great. Um, okay, so let's go out and around. So we're going to assume that we're going out and around like this. Because um, we need to pull titanium out here. Let's run it along there. And then we'll actually, let's bring it back around here. I, this is a little probably grand designy, but you know what? It's okay. There we go. We'll have steel as our third input here. And our output will be coming back around. I'm not going to deal with the output yet, but we we'll, you know it'll be there somewhere, but we'll get there. So, yep, perfect. And that's also labeled sulfur, too. Perfect. Um, Oh, it has a few drones in it. Let's put, put a few more in. There we go. And we have used all of our drones. Okay, good to know. We have no sulfur drones yet, apparently. Well, we'll get there. And let's push all of our steel production off to the right. Boom. Boom. Rotate this a little bit. Boom. Boom. I like going with an even four. It's usually just easy. There we go. Alright, consumption is still just fine. And really, we want this to go. Let me just double check here. Yep, it's just going to take two levels. Okay, so. I think we just go wide band here, wide band there, and we know it's going to spit out right there. That's where we want this to go. So let's just make make our starting line right here. Ooh, lack of item. You know what? The good news is we just automated those, so we don't have to worry about it too much. I would like many of these, please. Let's do like 200, 2,000 rather. Boom. Okay, that is really nice, folks. That is very, very nice. Okay. So we're coming along here. So this is going to be where our steel plants are. We're going to kind of work backwards here a little bit. Um, let's put in a few of these. Actually, here, let's start it closer. Not too close, but closer. I don't have to get too crazy with it. It's always easier to expand back out if we need to. Lines on the far side. Okay. And then we want. Okay. Nope. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Might even. Because the thing is, this is going to be way too much iron for one line. So we might even come down here, do that, do it like this, do a line there, put in a few of these guys. Assume 
assume that they're yeah, both gonna run up there. We'll just come down there for now. Oh, we're coming straight down here. That's a straight enough line, uh, even though it's closer to the top that we don't have to worry about it. Okay. And these guys will be outputting along here. So notice we just don't want to be too cramped. We don't have to be, you know, so why would we be? We just want to give ourselves enough room for expansion. If we notice that the ratios feel a little off, we have plenty of room, plenty of space. We don't have to worry about it. We're just trying to give ourselves options here. Now we know that there's a three to one ratio here. So theoretically what I should have done was set up how much steel output I knew I needed. Then I could have just multiplied that by three to know how many uh, iron works we would need, but where's the fun in that, you know? So we're just going to kind of wing it, because I think that's more fun. And you know what? We'll test, experiment, sense, and respond. Alright, we're spitting out. So for some reason, it's a lot easier to draw the outputs for me, I think. Um, okay, cool. I'm already seeing some pretty decent blocking here, so I might actually upgrade this guy and this guy. Okay, and why do we still not have any sulfur? That's what I'm curious about. Demand. That would help, wouldn't it? Uh, we don't need that much sulfur. Let's say 1500. Perfect. Okay, so now, I think we build along the inside. I was not going to do that, but honestly, I can't think of a reason not to do that. So let's do it. And we're just going to build, again, our three little test pilots here. We can power on the inside. Um, there we go. Boom. OK. Again, we know this is going to be a little slower, so we don't have to worry about it. But we're going to go really far along the line here. I think we actually are going to wrap all the way around. It's going to be a pain. But this gives us the most flexibility. We're going to wrap all the way up here to get our titanium alloy up there. I'll try to follow along with them a little bit so they're not lost at sea. Little drone birds here. Perfect. Okay. We can reconnect. Ah, look at all that sulfur coming in. Okay. We know we want this to be. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man, that's annoying. I should have double checked. Oh, it's to the same size, I will say. That's nice. Uh, that could have been way more aggravating. This is why we test. We're going to make these. I guess I should have figured they're, what, titanium bars that they'd be made in a machine like that. In a smelter, rather. Okay. Do a quick look at our outputs. Yep, 
Beautiful. All right, so let's just fly over here to make sure we're acknowledging the output demand. Oh, just want to make sure that we have a way to get this stuff off planet. Where did you go, titanium? Ah, there we go, titanium alloy. It's going to be local demand. There we go. And it's remote supply. Cool. It's already pulling the first 50 stack. We have so much titanium. It's not even a problem. Okay. Honestly, if anything, let's upgrade that belt. There we go. So I want to see. Okay, we're in a good spot. Why this still feels like it's going really slowly. Let's just upgrade all nicely, all these. You know what? We have it now. Why not? We're basically just shifting 100% over. Uh, I, did I not literally? Oh, they were. Eh, honestly, they're probably well. They're probably fine at some K2s. This splitter is killing me. I, I don't know why. We can prioritize the output. It doesn't really matter. I, the only thing we could do is run two lines. I wonder if that would be better. But you know what? Let's, let's test this out. Let's see if that's actually better. Run that there. And run this here. We're going to remove those really quickly. I know, I know, I know. They're going to be a hard time. Put them back. Oh wow, look at that. That's crazy. I actually don't think that's gonna help that much. Now that we've done it. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's put the splitter back. There we go. And we'll just leave that. It's a product of our experiment. Okay. Ah, oh, delightful. We're seeing our titanium alloy shipping out, moving along. Okay. I think we just extend this a little bit. And then I might call it a day. I think we're in a good place with what we have. Let's just honestly, I mean, we have the resources to do this. I don't what I think might be our natural buffer at this point is either gonna be the steel production on this localized steel chain or it's going to be our sulfur, sulfur production back home. Because uh, I'm not sure how robust our sulfur production is back there. And we may find out that it just can't really support uh, this level of manufacturing. Um, so we will find out very, very shortly uh, is my expectation uh, if we can actually handle this. And the trick is you also use sulfur for plenty of other things. So we may need to bulk up our sulfur production uh, moving forward. I'm going to do all these MK3s first. But that sounds like a problem for another day. Oops, went one too far there. Really? You're just going to be that one guy? There we go. That'll get you. Okay. Oh, you too. Oh, fine. It's just easier. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. Who's complaining? There we go. No, no, I don't like that. Let's just get it all on one side. There we go. Cool. All right, now we just need our outputs. We're gonna be in a good spot. There 
There we go. And my suspicions one the storage. Um, yeah, there we go. Now that we've gotten through all that excess, where it could go. Don't have to worry about it. Perfect. Everything's supplying. I think we're in good shape. Okay, so the last thing that I think we want to do before we head out. Sulfur, still going okay. That was my only other concern. These are all MK2 belts right now. It looks like sulfur can stack up enough that we won't run into any issues. I'm not seeing any shortages right now. So, all right, let's 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 go home. Just uh, briefly, right? But, all right. Where is G before? Oh, good. It's right behind us. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right. Going back home. One more thing we want to do before we uh, before we call it quits today. That is, we need to upgrade the belts around our. Did I bring? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll probably put in one more one more interstellar logistics station just to pull in our belts. Uh, we'll probably need one for the upgraded engine types too if we want to build anything with those on this planet. But we want to go towards one of the poles. There we go. That was actually way closer than I expected that would be. Uh, but we want to upgrade all these belt types to MK3s. So let's do that really quickly. Oh, whoops, I don't even have to do that. Upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade that. There we go. So now, if we were to run anything, is there is there in, literally anything we can run? Oh, research speed. Ah, dang. All right, what about this? Oh, let's just run something, right? Okay, that's interesting. Wow, that was that was crazy fast. Okay, what else? Let's do it again. Wow. Red. Interesting. Even with MK3s, it's just too, we can't really get too tall. That's interesting. We might need another one. To be honest with you, it's just a, it's just a belt speed limitation. Huh. Okay. Well, that was a helpful experiment. Yeah, the reds are just getting snapped up. They're all on, they're all on the right belt type, right? Yeah, MK3, 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 okay. Well, now we know. That's that's so fast. Oh, you gotta love that. Wait, what is this? Increases the number of cargo that the sorter carries each time. Interesting. I honestly have never really looked at this before. Hmm. Okay. I guess it's good that we have it. I also haven't done any of these. Let me queue these up just to get them out of the way. I think it'll be nice to have them done, right? When we get to that stage of the sphere. It's spherical! Alright, well, oh, there we... Oh my gosh, why did we not... Why were we not doing this the whole freaking time? Are you kidding me? Extra inventory capacity? Oh my gosh, alright. Let's just watch this happen. This is... I think this is gonna be our video thumbnail, right? <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful to, to watch that speed go down. And what we're seeing is, again, it's interesting. We're not quite getting, not quite getting enough red this way. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so it's got to be an issue with um with the belt. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we know. We might have to localize a few of these. Uh. If you've played this before and you've noticed any sort of uh, issue with the belt here, let us know. Let me know what's going on here, and we'll uh, we'll see if there's a more efficient or more effective way to be running our our research here. Because uh, I know for a fact that this is not the best way to do it. I'm sure. I have no doubt. Uh, it just happens to be the way that I've found that works for me. So, whoops. So, if you have any recommendations on um, an increased strategy or, or something, some better way to do this, uh, please let me know. I'm all ears. 
All right, looks like we're just about to hit this uh, inventory threshold right here. We have enough of everything. Awesome. Oh, beautiful. Look at how much extra inventory we have. Awesome. All right, folks, I think we're going to leave it here. Uh, thanks for joining me. And we will, ooh, you know, actually, maybe what we'll do here before we head out, we'll put just a few of these down right here. Too close to another power facility. We will remove that and put these in so we can get a little bit of a charge while we're here, right? There we go. Nice. Uh, of course, now it's not going to freaking work. There we go. We'll connect everything up that way. Boom. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. So we can fully charge up while we're standing here and watching our beautiful creation. Okay. All right. Thanks, folks. Uh, we'll be back on at some point. Uh, so keep an eye out for that notification. Uh, also, have started cross-posting over to YouTube. Uh, so if you have a chance you miss a stream or something like that, uh, you should be able to find this stuff on YouTube as well. So uh, let me know if you have any feedback on the stream, anything you'd like to see or any uh, constructive criticism you may have, totally open to it. Uh, helps uh, everyone get better, right? Learning a little bit more. Uh, and I'm more than happy to do that. So thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Take it easy, everyone. Have a nice weekend.